Well, I really am beside myself when it comes to you. I'm here because I think that uh, global climate warming is going to affect absolutely everybody on this planet and that we can't ignore it any further. I went to hear an expert several years ago who said that the extreme weather that we're experiencing now is the result of the pollution we put into the atmosphere in the 1950s. So it's only going to get worse from here on out because we put more and more pollution into the atmosphere since the 1950s. Therefore, we got to start today. We can't wait. People like my boss don't listen to people like me for five years, but maybe they would listen to people like Warren. So if we can get him to acknowledge the science, you know, of climate change and how rapidly humans are increasing that, then maybe it would appeal to a whole slew of people that we previously did not have access to inform. Uh, my name is Mark Welsh and I'm a representative of Nebraskans for Peace and I'd like to introduce John Pollock who's a retired meteorologist with 40 years of experience who studied climate change uh, for all of those 40 years, going from uh, a climate change person or person who didn't believe climate change was happening because of because of global warming and human caused burning of fossil fuels, to over those 40 years, uh, he's done enough study to realize that it is happening and we are causing it through our burning of fossil fuels. John, Western wildfires have been in the news recently for good reason. A fast-moving blaze near Colorado Springs was the most destructive in Colorado's history, killing two people and incinerating around 500 homes. The more recent West Fork, Colorado fire has already scorched over 134 square miles and may burn all summer. Tragically, an Arizona fire has killed 19 highly skilled firefighters. Nebraskans for Peace stands with President Obama in calling for an energy policy that leaves our descendants with a livable earth. We call upon Warren Buffett to take a more active role in restructuring the energy industry to avert a climate meltdown. We ask politicians and industry leaders to consider the climate effects of fossil fuel burning and not just the near-term costs. With Warren Buffett's huge investments in insurance, my comments on the impact of climate change has on wildfires is of immediate interest to him. What has not been in the news is the connection between coal burning and the burning forests in the western United States. Coal burning, mostly to generate electricity, is a big contributor to climate change by raising carbon dioxide levels. So do gasoline, natural gas, and oil, the other main fossil fuels. Climate change is drying out the West by steering moisture-bearing storm systems farther north. It also expands a drought-inducing heat dome that normally forms in the late spring in the desert southwest. Drier forests contain more dead trees and also burn more easily. Warmer winters have also encouraged an expanding infestation of bark beetles, creating even more dead trees. Unlike last year's expansive heat dome, this year's heat dome over North America has been squeezed up through the Rockies all the way to Alaska by low pressure regions over the eastern Pacific and also eastern North America. This squeezed heat dome will result in more temperature records and intense fires in the west. Global warming makes it much more likely that the overall, overall pattern of more intense heat domes and low pressure will happen, leading to more weather extremes. This includes more and larger droughts, which cause massive and deadly wildfires in the western United States. It's a catastrophe that we are heading towards. I mean, if you put profits over nature, nature is going to destroy us all. It, 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 nature doesn't uh, listen to the law of capital or accumulation of profits. So we need to take care of the earth. Otherwise, we'll be killing the goose that lays the golden egg. Tim Renna, the state, co state coordinator of Nebraska's for Peace, will also speak.
What's unique about Warren Buffett, though, is that he has also been steering investments into wind and to solar. He's in the process of building one of the largest solar plants in the entire world right now. And uh, here he is with Mid-American Energy, you know, powering 25% of Iowa with wind energy and so forth. Warren Buffett has also shown that he's interested in green energy. All of us have, have soot on our hands. We've all got coal dust on our hands. We can't be here today if we didn't have coal dust on our hands, all right? That, that's a given, all right? What Warren Buffett has the capability to do, though, is with his interest, with his prowess, with his standing in the international community, he has the ability to target and shape public opinion. And we need not only public opinion, we need specifically business and industry opinion shifted over to the need to move to green energy fast. And the reason we have to do that is because the climate, the climate clock is ticking. We can't continue to do what we're doing without making this planet inhospitable for civilization as we know it. We are on a course to destruction. Warren Buffett can step in as one of the most celebrated citizens on the face of the earth. He can step in and say, we have got to go a different direction. If Warren leads, the rest of the world is going to pay attention. That's why we're here today. We're not here to protest Warren Buffett. We're here to appeal to him to use this incredible celebrity that this 82-year-old legend has for the cause of the future of this planet. I'm here because I want to raise awareness of what we're doing to the planet and how, what we need to do to stop doing it. And I appreciate Warren. Um, he has a lot of power, clout, and so it would be nice if he opened his mouth and said, let's stop doing this. Pull the whiskey strong in the bottle, we'll see right through. You are a flower with powers both dark and light Soft petals, green leaves and thorns that cut just right Whoa, there was so much more for me to you I'm here because I want clean energy <laughs> I'm going to find my own way through. I will find my way. Keep our water clean. You knew just what it was that you had planned. You're just a girl, baby doll. I am just a man. You always knew just what you were looking for Someone else has caught you right I'm right out the door I'm going to find my own way through Ooh, I will find my way yeah. uh, My name is John Papan on Omaha and Pawnee Tribes We're with the uh, People here to ask Warren to come meet with us about our concerns about the climate change and other different issues here that affect all of us. We hope that he'll come forward, either Peter, Susie, or Warren. We all want you to be involved and in making a positive change for the people here. Thank you. I'll find my way While eyes were falling through those cracks just like sand Out of misdirection, Lord knows we missed the plan. We fought the war against and for this life we know. Dying flowers always drop the seeds that grow. I 
I believe that I'm going to find my own way through. I will find my 